to be coming out of that that sottish and that foolish state of mind and coming back into the ways of your how about shoot me out with shot. Go ahead. Come, let's go ahead and talk. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. Right. And they have not understanding. You have, you have none understanding, man. They are wise to do evil, hmm. but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, man. I, I, all the principles of the so-called white man, okay, is wickedness. It's evil. You know, it's perverseness. You know, uh, the apostle was going in on that too, going back to the whole, you know, training military thing. Hey, scripture said, man, the Lord had mixed uh, uh, a, a perverse spirit in the earth, man. You know, to where our people are wise to do evil. You know, our people can tell you how to come up on a house for, for five dollars. Can tell you where you can get some some knockoff rims for a hundred bucks. You know, they can tell you how to worship Caesar Borgia. They can tell you how to worship uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe, or not Our Lady, but you know, Lady of Guadalupe. Ho of Guadalupe, you know, last week, hey, I, uh, as I was driving by, you know, they got this whole Jewish, okay, Hanukkah, all these people celebrating all this madness. Our people will show up for that in droves, you know, God. to do evil, you know, to, to assimilate with the so-called white man society, but to do good? <laughs> they have no knowledge. But to do good, you know, to 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 call on the name of the Lord, to humble the to, to humble yourself, to receive rebuke and chastisement from the Lord. Nah. They have no knowledge of that. You know? But that's another reason why we out here, man. You know? Like like the Part of the reason why we're out here is to tell our people their sins and their transgressions. Uh, what, what does the scripture say um, about teaching the wisdom? Yet, yet thou will not learn wisdom. Oh well, well yeah, that's, I think that's I think that's that Psalms 50, where, where it talks about how they how they won't uh, receive instruction. And really, that's going into oh, Esau. That's Esau yeah. yeah, that's going into <laughs> Esau. But shit, I mean, hey, two thousand of our people are in that same mind frame as well. from our people, man. That goes to show you how vast of sorcery the so-called white man and all these idols and images and philosophies in which he's crafted up using the left hand power, how, how embedded it is in our people. Jeremiah chapter five, verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. From among my people are found wicked men, man. You know? And, and, and really, I want to say that, that goes into those false pastors, right? Yeah. Pastors. Yeah, yeah that, that goes into these false pastors, or two-thirds, or people not telling you the name of the Lord because they really not teachers, okay? They really not sons. Well, they're not a part of the elect, you know? Because they, they they still part of the nation of Israel, you know. But but only the elect are gonna teach you the name of the Lord, you know. Yeah, scripture says, from among my people are found wicked men. Go ahead. Uh, for among my people are found wicked men. Right. They lay wait as he that set his snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, like, like, like people don't realize so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, are the, the 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 most preyed upon people on the face of the earth. You know, because all of these philosophies, all all of these all of these wicked pagan idols, are set up for our people. You know, to have them go off. I did a lesson uh, yesterday or earlier today, whatever, about how Christianity has a root 
are many roots in paganism. Okay? And we, we had briefly talked about that yeah, talked uh, Tuesday. About Tuesday. You know? Go ahead. You want to speak on it? Don't argue. Oh, oh no. I'll beat you. Go ahead. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we went into a brief history on it, like the brother said, just, uh, you know, basically where all this, this uh, Catholicism, cat, uh, this modern-day Renaissance Christianity stemmed back to the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine, you know, what, what the, these scholars dubbed the Byzantine Empire Cause. back in the early 300s A.D., you know. So, yeah, they, they, they incorporated these pagan customs right along with, with uh, doctrines out of the Bible, and now you got Jake in the last days here in the world mixed up. They, they really think Christian, uh, uh, not Christian, but Christmas, yeah. is, is something holy and sacred, <laughs> you know? Cause. They really think that, you know, uh, Mary was a virgin. Right. That that goes back to that uh, Semiramis, and that, that, that all went back to, uh, oh yeah, you got it on the mm -hmm. side. Yeah. That all went back to the Byzantine Empire. Yeah, Mary was a virgin right into uh, Joseph put his rod in it, <laughs> you know? And the movie, uh, the movie Bad Santa 2, that, that, that cracker, that devil, uh, what's that cracker name? Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton, yeah. Yeah. He, he made a good point, because he, he slipped in, he called it the ejaculate conception. Mm -hmm. That's really what it was. Right. The Lord came by the seed of man. It wasn't no immaculate conception. It was an ejaculate conception, you know, by his father, his earthly father, Joseph, you know? But yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm oh, go ahead. Make your point, I would say I got that because you talk okay. about no people are more prayed on than Jack. Oh, well, right. I mean, so, so yeah, the, the, through these philosophies, uh, through these idols, is how the so-called white man preys on our people, man, you know? To, to, to where to where um uh the, these wicked men you know are devising evil and, and what's that last part on on that one uh Jeremiah 5 and 20 25 oh you say they uh they were to do they catch okay. men they said they said a snare and they catch men you know see because our people they, they don't think that you're being preyed upon you know you 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 got you got trap music you got ESPN, you got you got blunts, you know, you got strip clubs, and you got malt looking, and, and that's it. That's all Jake needs, you know. But you don't, but you don't think that you're being preyed on, man. You don't think the so-called white man wants to destroy you. Think again. That's why you get a nigga rap snacks. And oh, okay. <laughs> nigga give rap snacks and goddamn hookers and all this shit. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> black culture. But, you know, Yashua must speak all the time, man. Yeah, black culture is the worst shit going, man. You know, that's death. That's that's a culture, it really is literally black culture. A culture of death. You know? This Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. That's right. It is all full of lies and robbery. Right. The prey departed not. Mm. Yeah. And who's that prey, man? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yeah. You know? And it said, who was that last part? Uh, the first part about the robbery? Oh, you come, come. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, say, walk to the bloody city. And then, and, 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 let me grab it again. Con. Because, because, hey, that's another way, you know, we, we, <laughs> that we had talked about in John the 10th chapter. It says if, if, if another man come up another way, he is a thief and a robber, man. Thief and a robber. You know? Because that's what you're doing, man. You're spoiling the uh, children of Israel from salvation. You know? Like, <laughs> like, like our people don't even know that you can actually, there's a way to be saved. And, and, and that goes back to that damn sorcery that the so-called white man teaches our people or the, these false pastors, those wicked we, wicked men, you know, and women, because women women can speak in the church now, you know, that are actually setting up snares for our people, you know, T telling them, telling them that they are already saved. Like that, that's one of the craziest uh, uh, philosophies
selfies and sorceries out there, man. How you gonna tell somebody they already saved when you living in hell? What are you saved from? You still sinning, you know? You still sitting out there eating pork chop sandwiches every week, you know? Go ahead. Nahum chapter three, verse one. Right. Woe to the bloody city. That's right, woe destruction. It is all full of lies and robbery. It's all full of lies and robbery. Going back to that, these philosophies exactly. of the so-called white man, such as pagan Christianity, such as Timur, uh, Timuramis, Timuramis <laughs> and, ta and Taboos, you know? Such as wicked ass Thanksgiving. Going back to all of these pagan customs and traditions, man. Oh, you say Easter? You can't forget it's Easter. It's tar. Come on. You know? The so-called white man took out the word, uh, um, uh, what, what, what's the word supposed to be there in uh, Acts? I think what is it was the 17th oh, chapter. Oh. It's supposed to be, um. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, the 12th chapter. 12th chapter. Uh, uh, Pesach. Oh, Pesach. Con. And they put Easter in there. Yeah, and they put Easter in there. That's lies and robbery. You know? That's how, that's how the so-called white man takes you as a spoil. Yep, yep. You know? He, do, he doesn't tangibly, physically, any longer, you know, kidnap you and, 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 you know, drag you, you know, for thousands of miles, you know, to some distant, remote de uh, desert and drop you off in the middle of the desert. No. He spoils you through lies and robbery. That's why the Lord said, woe to the bloody city. Destruction. That's right. I, yeah. To what city? AKA America. Okay? Because uh, bloody city. that's the bloody city. Like, hey, hold on. Uh oh. Somebody about to get cut. When when uh oh. Oh shit. When did when did you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh get departed to the Vatican? The Vatican ain't the bloody city. The bloody city is America, okay? Our people weren't picking up goddamn cotton in Rome. We were, we, we, we were enslaved in Rome for a certain period of time, you know, very brief period of time, but not like it was here in America, not like it is here in America, you know? That, hey, that, that's why our people are our saddest children, man. Because you have no idea that you are the prey. No idea at all. You know? I have no idea. Well, like well, you were talking to Jake. Okay. He said, well, it's, it's still slavery, but not like that. Right. You know? But yeah, he he so had 350 years to indoctrinate you. So yeah, he don't have to do that anymore. He mm -hmm. put the philosophies out there for you niggas to get entrapped in and entangled in which y'all are. That's why I say the prey departed not because y'all love the ways of destruction and death. Just like the scripture says. Y'all, man, y'all go all out for Christmas, man. Y'all go all out for Easter and New Year's. Niggas don't never go to church. They be in there on Easter with a bright yellow sh uh, suit on or uh, uh, some pastel color, loud ass color, and some, some gators to match. Right, lime green with a with a hat to match and some gators, you know? That's why the prey departed not, because y'all love the ways of death in this society. Y'all love black culture. Y'all love everything that this white man puts out here for y'all to get entrapped into, you know? Nigga be in the jail, nigga be having a good time. You know, I've been locked up with them <laughs> niggas. They be having a good time in there, man. Shit. JB, JB be in there gossiping and talking shit, lying to each other. Mm. Yeah, man, I was, I was rolling on 20s and the loud pulled me over. I had this, I had that. Yeah, but you just in here for a couple of days, nigga. You, ain't, you wasn't doing all that, you right. know? But Jake loved this culture, you know? 
As he lights, man, we longing to get up out of here. We know there's something better. We know, you know, our Lord, Yahweh is coming, man, and he said that uh, in his father's kingdom are many mansions. And he left two days ago to go prepare a place for us. So we know there's something better than this. You know, being sick, being tired, you know, worn out. All this madness, man, that this society is about. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here, man. Gone. This place, this, this bloody city, it's all full of lies and robbery. Yeah, and and, and, and who's doing that is, is the predator, being the so-called white man. You know, uh, what's the scripture say? They they oppress a man even uh, uh, even as household. Was it is that, is that Micah? You know, okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, hey, like like these are the things in which our people need to be aware of. But not only be aware of it. You know, understand it. As scripture says, man, get understanding. You know, come out of the ways of this wicked ass society, man. Because all these ways cause our people to err. Okay? Every last way in which the so called white man has taught our people, man, is perverse to the Lord. You know? Because he's perverse. You know? You can't, you can't have somebody that's profane tell you something that's within. That's right. <laughs> you, you on the outside. That's, that, hey, that's just like, I, th I don't know if I've made this analogy before. That's just like, I'm not a mechanic, right? But, uh, but I'm sitting up there, I'm telling you how to operate on the car. Yeah. I ain't got no experience on it. But I'm telling you, this is the best way to have your car running great. That's Esau, man. Yep. Lies and robbery. Uh, me trying to tell somebody how to uh, invest in the stock market. Right. You know, because I, I don't do that. Because, you know, that's a Ponzi scheme. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but hey, but that, but that, but that's how, that's how they oppress a man, and then even uh, uh, his city, man. It's through those philosophies, like the brother had said. The so-called white man don't have to, you know, uh, uh, crack the whip anymore. Yeah. You know, he, he taught you he, niggas how to love your captivity. <laughs> God damn, boy. Damn, boy. You know, now, 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 you, you're just a. Um, he just seeps, he just seeps money from you, you know? He has you go to work and he reaps all the benefits. He has you uh, completely consumed, you know, with folly and madness on, on, the, on the, uh, the television, you know? Or he'll have Eve or all the rest of these other random assholes distort your mind. Then he has these pork chop pastors doing the same thing. And then he corrupts you through the food and the air and the water. You know? Like, hey, man. <laughs> hey, that's why I called for that scripture the other day, man. How, how we are troubled on every side, man. But go ahead, man. Bring, right, bring that up. Select Mike, <clears throat> Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. That's right. Walk to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. That's Esau, the so-called white man, devising iniquity on his beds. Because before our people knew what Christmas was, what uh, 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 New Year's was, the so-called white man had to invent it. He had to take it from either someone else's culture or craft it out, you know? And iniquity, going back to what we had read, uh, 1 John 3 and 4, being the transgressions of sins, but not repenting from those sins. Just continuing to teach your damn kids that Santa Claus, the so-called white man, is real. That all of these pagan holidays on your calendar is real. And they have no dealings with our nationality, okay? They have zero root in pleasing yeah, how about it? Shimmy, I will shine. Go ahead. Uh, one thing oh, I, ahead. I say with uh, uh, Dick Gregory, one thing he said that was on point, he, he basically was like, he, he basically kind of